welcome back to Just Me and the Watch. I think in my last video, I was apologizing for taking so much time between videos. And now, around eight months or almost nine months later, I'm back with my next video. There's been a lot of big life changes along the way. Uh, all incredibly positive things, positive changes, new beginnings. But I had to put my YouTube aspirations on the back burner for a little while. Today though, I'm back. And I wanna share a great little dive watch with you that I think is an excellent everyday, go anywhere, do anything watch. But I think it flies under the radar. I'm talking about my Certina DS Action Diver in 38 millimeter. Now I'm really enamored with this watch and I wanna take a closer look at it. But first, I think we should talk about my own journey with watches in order to provide a little bit of context. I might get some pushback in the comments, but I'm gonna generalize here and say that dive watches were the first love of many of us who are into this horology hobby. The first watch that ever caught my eye was the Rolex Submariner. It was on a large poster in a jewelry store that I happened to be in with my parents around eight or nine years old. I'm not sure which version of the sub this was, but given my age at the time, it must have been the 16800 or the triple zero that was available at the time. I got to see that giant poster and then I got to stare at the real thing through the glass of the display case while my parents took care of whatever grown-up stuff they were there for. Over time, I would see different versions of the Submariner in magazines. I'd see it on television, all kinds of media. Later, I would fall in love with multiple versions of the Omega Seamaster. I never really saw these watches in the environment they were intended for, though. Instead, I always seem to come across them being used as an easygoing, casual accessory to a pair of jeans or hanging from the wrist of some lucky guy at the wheel of a sports car, possibly even on the wrist of commandos as they carried out their duties in tough conditions. I remember Magnum P.I. wearing his C Quartz 30 while driving his Ferrari around and solving mysteries. When I think about it, this would have been the same time frame that old-fashioned dive watches were giving way to more accurate and durable computers. So it makes sense that these watches would become more common in non-diving settings. This really gave me a sense that dive watches were meant to be everyday accessories that could accompany me on any adventure, from the office to the trail to the beach and beyond. Let's not forget that James Bond did some occasional diving, but also wore his dive watches with tuxedos. Now fast forward to adulthood, and I'm fortunate to have a little bit of disposable income to purchase watches. A Rolex or, or an Omega isn't necessarily in the budget, but dive watches were my first love, and I am definitely searching for that perfectly sized watch that'll fit all occasions. I've collected a bunch of reasonably priced options that are all spectacular in their own way, but I'm still always searching. Eventually, I learned about Certina, a brand that's always stood out as a symbol of precision and innovation. And their story begins in 1888 when brothers Adolf and Alfred Kurth established a watch and clock making business called Grana in Grenchen, Switzerland. A generation later, their successors decided on a new name and registered the Certina brand in the 1930s. From the very beginning, Certina was driven by a passion for precision and a commitment to quality craftsmanship. Their dedication to quality quickly made it a respected name in the watchmaking industry. What truly set Certina apart, though, was the groundbreaking DS, or double security, concept. In 1959, Certina introduced a new level of protection against shock, water, and magnetic fields. This innovation elevated their watches to the next level, making them the preferred choice for adventurers and explorers. The DS concept consisted of a shock-absorbing rubber cradle for the movement, as well as the use of gaskets on the case back and crown to provide water resistance. The goal was to create the most robust timepiece possible. After the launch of the first DS timepiece, Certina quickly established itself as an adventure brand. Finding opportunities for their watches to be connected to various expeditions, dives, and other scientific endeavors. In 1960, the Certina DS was on the wrists of a team of Swiss climbers who made the first successful 8,000 meter ascent of Mount Dalagroy in the Himalayas. 
in 1969, it's the Sartina DS2 Super PH 500 meter and 1000 meter, which take part in the Tektite 1 and 2 deep sea diving experiments performed by NASA. By the way, this one's been reissued and can be found for around $700. That same year, a Japanese expedition summits Everest with one of the leaders wearing a DS2 Crown Olympic. Now it's 2005, and the DS Action Diver line is introduced, available in both quartz and automatic. It's good for 300 meters of water resistance and is robust enough for any possible underwater adventure. I picked mine up in 2019. I was sold on the excellent specs for the price and really excellent finishing for a tool watch. Unfortunately, at 43 millimeters wide with a 50 millimeter lug to lug, it was too bulky and uncomfortable to wear on a regular basis. So I flipped it after a year. I did love that watch though. Toolish, utilitarian, and casual. Everything about it was perfect to me except the size. Even though I had other watches in my collection in similar sizes, this one just wasn't comfortable for me. But in 2020, Certina, quietly, in my opinion, brought a 38 millimeter version to market. Same depth rating and ISO 6425 certification, but with a 120 click coin edge bezel and a slimmer case. On a side note, the updated 43 millimeter version now also has the coin edge bezel. After several other purchases and endless hours of YouTube watch community reviews, I finally picked one up a few months ago and I'm so incredibly satisfied with this purchase. This is my watch. There are many like it, but this one is mine. For me, it's all about the proportions. 38 millimeter width plus 46 millimeter lug to lug. That's really become a sweet spot for me lately. The 38 millimeter stainless steel case not only gives it a timeless aesthetic, but it also makes it perfect for those with a wide variety of wrist sizes. The brushed finish adds a touch of sophistication, while that unidirectional rotating bezel with an aluminum insert not only enhances the durability, but also ensures precise timekeeping during your underwater or desk diving adventures. This Certina is ISO certified and water resistant up to 300 meters making it a reliable companion for both recreational and professional divers. The screw down crown and case back contribute to its impressive water resistance, giving you the confidence to explore the depths without worrying about the integrity of your timepiece. The dial features a clean and legible design with bold, luminous markers and hands. The Superluminova coating ensures excellent visibility even in low light conditions. This is a crucial feature for those of us who are just fascinated with loom and other shiny things. The date window at three o'clock adds practicality without compromising the overall balance of the dial. Powering this watch is an Ada 2824 based movement modified to provide 80 hours of power reserve, making this an excellent grab and go throughout the week. The 20 millimeter band tapers to 18 and features oyster style triple links. Thanks to the inclusion of half links, it's really easy to get a good fit. The clasp has a nice solid milled scissor mechanism as well as a diver's extension. But in my opinion, it's cheaply made and mainly for show. Honestly, even though the action diver is up to the challenge, I would be surprised to see this on the bracelet strapped around the cuff of a wetsuit. Frankly, that cheap diver's extension is my biggest gripe about this watch. I love the look. I love the specs. The bezel action is smooth and solid with no back play, possibly even the best bezel in my collection. And just look at how well it fits my seven and three quarter inch wrist. If you're looking for that cool casual diver and you're in the entry level Swiss territory with your budget, the Certina DS Action Diver is definitely worth a look. Well, there you have it. A closer look at my Certina DS Action Diver in 38 millimeter and probably a little bit more than you wanted to know about the inner workings of my psyche and the reasons why I'm stuck on collecting things. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
tell your friends about me, share me in all of your forums, and we'll see you next time.